All right, guys, Jason Greystone here, professional currency trader and trading coach over at Trade Empowered. And I wanted to shoot out a video uh, because every day in the live room, you guys get to see me take live trades. Now, I'm seeking out trading opportunities that meet my own trade plan rules. And I'm a trend continuation trader, so you'll always get to see me identify whether the market's bullish or bearish and predict where I think market's likely to go next. And then I decide how to get involved. So I look for my entry reasons and entry rules into that trade. Now, you'll also see me take pattern formation trades. So essentially, that means that I make money when the markets or I can make money when the market's going up, when the market's going down, or even if we're moving sideways, because a lot of these pattern formations complete in consolidation. Now, lots of times in the live room, I've had lots and lots of questions about why I'm changing up my targets because they'll see me enter a pattern trade aggressively at the decompletion and sometimes I'll have conventional targets and sometimes I'll have extended targets and it all depends whether or not we've identified uh, the, the bullish or bearish trend, whether I'm looking for a trend continuation trade and whether we have room to move looking left on the bigger time frame. Now, it's a really good way to capitalize on these pattern trades by changing up your targets and shooting for those extended profits. So I thought I'd share a video with you on exactly how I handle those types of setups and really give you an insight into um, what I look for in that type of move and how I extend my profit target. So grab a pen, grab some coffee, sit back, check out the video, and I'll, uh, I'll be back in just a minute. So I'm going to walk you through um, a typical trend continuation setup that I'd be looking for on any of the markets in my portfolio. And this is how I would normally handle a trend continuation trade. Now it's all going to come down to being able to read a price chart, being able to read price action and understanding whether we're in a bullish or bearish trend. And once you've identified that and you've identified that we're bullish, for instance, um, if you're a trend continuation trader, you'd be shooting for a retest of the highs, trying to buy the pullbacks and then selling at a retest of the highs or selling back some of your position, uh, whether or not you take one position or maybe you shoot for targets a bit higher, extended profit targets. Um, you might be having, you might have target twos up at the next level of structure resistance, say, on a, on a higher time frame. But what we'd be looking for essentially is uh, a Price action to push up, identify that we're in a bullish trend, okay? And then what I'd be looking for is where we are on the bigger picture. So do we have room for movement? Where is the next level of resistance looking left? Okay, we do that IPDE uh, exercise, the IPDE process. We drop down from the dailies, go down to our trading time frame. We're identifying where we think the market is likely to go next and how it's likely to get there. So say, for instance, we've uh, identified this as the next level of resistance on a higher time frame. And on our trading time frame, we've identified that we are bullish and we're looking for a trend continuation opportunity initially, right? So you guys see me all the time. I build out my initial kill zone, which is essentially between the uh, previous high and the previous outside return. And then I'll, I'll narrow this kill zone down based on my maximum stop loss limit, my risk reward. So I'll work out where my stop loss needs to go, get my stop loss underneath the stop based on that, uh, underneath the previous outside return. Based on an ATR, I will want a minimum of a one-to-one -one risk reward to a retest of the highs, okay? So let's color this in uh, green. Let's color this in red. And then what I'll be doing is I'll be looking for price action to push into my kill zone and then look for my entry reasons. Okay, higher, higher, higher closed candle, RSI overbought, whatever your entry reasons might be, doji candle, um, whatever it is. You'll be looking for an entry in this, this pink 
kill zone, okay? I call it a kill zone. As soon as you get those entry rules met, we're looking for a retest of the highs. And then what we do is, uh, or what I do, is I shoot for my extended targets up at an, a test of the previous level of resistance looking left. And what I'll do is I'll take extended targets at a previous level of structure resistance, target twos, okay? So what I'll be looking for in this zone is my entry rules to be met once we get a pullback. So that's our more conservative approach into this trade. Remember, I only want to get involved in the highest probable trading opportunities um, where I know that when I'm right, I win more than I lose when I'm wrong. And uh, based on my risk reward here, I can work out where I need to enter this in order to get a minimum of a one to one. OK, obviously, I prefer more than a one to one, but as a minimum one to one, typically it is more because we push into this zone and we get a higher, higher, higher closed candle in here somewhere, which brings the risk reward something like this. OK, but this is the minimum area that I want to get involved. And I know that I'm right more than I'm wrong. And when I win, I win more than I lose when I'm wrong. OK, so that's what the type of trade that I want to get involved with. Now, that's the more conservative approach. Now, sometimes we find that we get a pattern entry just like this. And the pattern completes right in the kill zone. Now, when this scenario occurs, when you get this set up, OK, it doesn't happen all the time, but it does happen. It does happen more often than you think. When you get this set up, if you trade these patterns, you could use this as you're an aggressive entry. Therefore, you can set a limit order here and still use the same target. So you can, instead of waiting for that conservative entry, you can use the pattern as an entry, but just change up your target. So whereas conventional targets would be at the 382 and the 618 say you might just change this up which is what i do i change change the target positioning for a retest of the a leg for target ones okay and uh, uh, i shoot for extended targets if we've got room to move okay if we haven't got room to move i take my entire position off at the top if we've just retested a previous high and we've we've pulled back um, i'm always expecting a retest of that high because we we tend to get double tops and double bottoms more often than we don't okay uh, but if we're if we're not quite a previous structure and we've got a little way to go i'll trail my stops up to uh, extended targets wherever that may be all right so that's how I'll handle that situation. Now let's have a look at that on the real charts. Okay, so you can see we have identified that we're bullish here. Okay, we're putting in new structure highs. Let's just uh, let's draw this out so it's very clear. We've broken out of this consolidation zone down here, violating previous structure resistance. We've put in, whoops. We've put in new structure highs, higher lows, new structure highs. We've got an outside return here. We didn't actually violate this outside return, although it was tested twice. We didn't break and close below the low, which makes this a valid outside return. We then put in a new structure high. And this is the, this is the zone where I'll be looking for that pullback. So I'll be building out my kill zone in here, just like I showed you um, in the previous example. So as we pull into this kill zone, I say, well, I'm not going to enter this just as we pull into this kill zone because I need a minimum one to one risk reward. And if I'm entering here and my stops need to go below this low, well, this isn't the sort of risk reward I'm looking for, is it? I always want to win more when I'm right than I lose when I'm wrong. I want a minimum of a one to one risk reward. So I work out where I can enter this trade and I build out my kill zone. And let's just say, for instance, that this is the kill zone now. This is where I'm going to get a one to one with my stops in place. And if I don't get that price action pulling into that kill zone and a higher, high, high close candle, we can look out for a pattern entry. Now, as soon as we get a pattern entry, which we can see we got right here. OK, this is what we call a bat formation. X to A, A to B, B to C, CD completion right down at the eight. 86 see that there completes nicely there i can have an aggressive entry here so this would be my entry 
But instead of taking conventional targets, because I've identified that we're bullish and we've got room for maneuver, we've got room for movement, previous highs being up at 75.60s, I know that I can adjust my profit targets here to, to enable me to really capitalize out of this strategy and, and you know generate a bigger, bigger profit. All right, so I enter the trade aggressively. There's no more higher, higher, higher closed candle entry, although we do get a higher, higher, higher closed candle entry right here at 74.53. But guess what? I've already got more pips out of the market here because I've, I've entered at a better price. So I enter at 74.25. And you can see profit targets would be at a retest of the highs in this situation. And you can see that we blow straight through that, roll my stops to break even, and then we hit take out target twos as well. So it's just food for thought. Um, you'd obviously have to test this because you, know, you need to be able to identify uh, the market and whether it's bullish or bearish, and you need to identify... Um, whether we're trending or not or in consolidation but I thought I'd share this with you because I get a lot of uh, a lot of questions about my style they see me trading this way in the live room and I've had a few requests on doing a video like this so that's it guys how to generate more profits from your pattern trades if you're a pattern trader all right guys so that's it hopefully you got some value from that just wanted to show you how you can really capitalize uh, from these pattern trades by changing up your target positions uh, based on whether you're trending or you're in consolidation. But it really does boil down to being able to read price action and understanding how to read a price chart and identify whether we're bullish, whether we're bearish, because you'll be amazed at how many traders that I work with that still can't, they've been trading years, but they still can't identify a bullish or bearish trend or whether we're in rotation reversal consolidation and they just don't know so you really want to get that down first learn the basics i recommend going over and watching into the gray which is a video on the tradingpower.com website and uh, be sure to stick around if you're watching this anywhere other than my own personal youtube channel on jason greystone uh, be sure to subscribe and go over and, and check out jason greystone youtube channel as well because there's tons of videos coming out on business entrepreneurship and uh, also forex and currency trading so until next time guys be sure to comment like subscribe this video and i'll see you then